Hello everyone, today I will be teaching you how to create a honeycomb background. First thing that we have to do is to draw a six sided shape and customize the way it looks. It's all up to you really. Also you shouldn't really mind the background color because it will be hiding behind the objects we are going to draw. So yeah, we won't really see it. Next thing you have to do is to keep duplicating the same object over and over again and just put it next to the object you had before and make sure you have four pages of the objects and you can't see the background. So keep doing the same process as I have shown you. Now I'm going to fast forward my video because it will take a little bit of time and I will be back on the next step. So now we have our background done and we will be moving on the next stage. Next thing you have to do is to select an object you would like to make look different from all ones. Also you should rename the object and move it up to the top. Now let's make some changes to the shape using blending options. So just follow my steps. Also you can make different settings for your layers, it doesn't really matter if you like it other way than my one. Now choose any other object which is exactly the same as any other around it and do the changes I'm going to make right now. This layer is going to be used under the main object which we have changed to red color. So it will look like the red colored shape just jumped out of it. Now I'm going to duplicate my red object because I want to have two outstanding objects and uh, yeah if you want to do the same just do the same if you don't want to you don't have to. Now put your red layers on top of the white layers it doesn't have to be really on top of it it's just moved out a bit so it looks a bit more realistic when it's closer.
also you can have uh, text on top of the red layers if you want to that's what I'm going to do right now Now this step is finished and we will be moving to another step, just follow the video. Now what I'm going to do right now is to draw lines around the red layers and they will eventually become neon colors. This will make it look a bit better. I'm going to fast forward this stage because it will take a little time as well so yeah just follow the video after the fast forward now we will actually make the lines become real colors and before you do that you should make sure your brush tool is set on the size six because if you will make it bigger it will be too big and it won't look really nice and we are almost done if you liked the video please like it below and share with your friends who are interested in photoshop and uh, thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel if you want more see you next time